This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting scrap mechanic video. Today I'm going to show you how to make an impenetrable wall to protect your garden. Let's get to it. So as you see here I have a circle of large stones protecting my garden and that is because the bots cannot break these stones once they're placed down in the correct way. I've tested this extremely thoroughly and I have allowed the bots to just attack it all night long to the point where they just give up and wander away once the morning comes. Now, I've only tested this with the hay bots and those little guys over there that leave the pile, the heads pile that I have over there. Um, that's all that showed up. So I don't know if like the large farmers can, or the, the big red ball spots, I don't know if they can, or I would assume the tape bots can't either because the tape bots are tiny. So the, the farmers are the only ones I don't know. They seem to do a massive amount of damage so they may have the capabilities to break these however the little bots there like you see over there the hay bot they cannot so how do you do this well it's pretty easy the first thing you have to do is isolate some of these blocks and it's pretty easy to get them to do that all you have to do is mine the ones underneath of them and a chunk of them will fall so i will show you over here i have a chunk of them already fallen over now sometimes when you're mining you'll just get one that'll fall on its own and that's ideally what you want so like i have one over here that's just fallen on its own. And you can see I can run into it and move it, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, if you take a look here, we grab our weld tool. You can see I can actually weld the thing, but we have to be careful how we weld this because if we weld this and it's touching the map, it will become like all of these over here, solidified, not those, these here, solidified to the ground and you can't move them. So what I like to do is wherever I'm going to put them, so we're gonna come back over here to my base, I just create a, a pole out of like whatever you wanna make it out of. Just make it decently high so that you can make sure you keep the block off the ground. As you see here, this one was a mistake. This one touched the ground and now I can't move it. It's part of the map. I'll have to break it with a drill. So now we're gonna go back over here and get that loose one. All we have to do is just get our weld tool and then we can come over here and click on the face of it and you can see that we now have it and then we're just going to run this back to our base okay we got it on the end of the weld tool we're back here over at our base and now we can just stick it to the pole like that now as long as it is not touching the ground and it's touching these blocks here you can always remove the blocks like so and it will fall to the ground and still be loose we can still you can see that we're moving it ever so slightly and we can also weld it. If you take a look at this one, I can't weld it anymore. This is the mistake one. So now what we have to do is we have to place it where I want to fill in the gap and that gap is right here. I have a spot where the bots can still get into. Now what I like to do is place the, the pole that I'm going to connect it to on the inside of where I'm going to connect it. So instead of like placing it the pole here and, and lining it up here. I want to know that the back is all relatively even. You can go about doing it however you want to. The important part is you follow the steps that I'm about to show you after the pole super carefully. So I'm just going to fill this in here and give myself plenty of space to connect it to so I can find just the right spot. You don't have to put a single pole. Now we're going to come back over here to the loose one and I'm going to grab a piece of it now there's squares all over here you just can't see them all like you're connecting see here it just overlaps in some of the areas so i'm going to grab mine and uh, i'm going to come back over here to where i want to connect it and you can see here i can connect it right here because it's it's wanting to connect to the block there now all i have to do is make sure that it is touching the ground that's it when you place it make sure it's touching the ground and it's not up off of the ground. So we're just going to place it and you'll see that it is all welded up now and it is on the ground. And once again, I can't move it at all. It's stuck. So now I can delete the blocks that I, that I had there that I was using as the post to weld it to. And now it is part of the map. So what I think is happening here is I think when you do this, the game thinks that it's part of the map again. It doesn't realize that it was ever disconnected. And being that it's part of the map, 
I don't think that the bots can destroy it or they just don't have the ability to destroy these. The issue with them being free is the bots can push them. So if they're not connected to the ground like this, the bots can push them. If you have blocks connecting them to the ground, there's a chance the bots can destroy the blocks and then they'll become free again. So you want to place them to the ground. Now at this point, they're stuck. If you screw up your wall, you have to use the drill to bust it down and then go get another one. But the bots can't break it. It's fully bot proof 100% and I'll go grab one real quick and show you. Okay, we got a nice chunk of bots here and I'm just gonna hang out for a second. I'm going to speed the video up and uh, you can just watch and see that they attack like crazy and nothing happens. Okay, there you go. Hopefully that was long enough for you to uh, believe what I'm saying. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the simplest way to kill them. You just place your lift down like that and then uh, you grab some blocks, flatten that out like that, find a selection there and then just drag a nice decent size uh, thing like that and then just lower it down and bam, there you go. You killed some bots and then you can jump on top of it and make it whatever size you need to make it. So we're going to pick those blocks up there and we'll just connect them over to here and just like that and then all we gotta do is just lower it down and smash oh we missed one that's fine we'll kill him the easy way we'll just uh whack him with the hammer a couple of times but there you go so that's it uh that's how you can uh make a wall that the bots can't get through and protect your garden and just plant whatever you want as big as you want and never have to worry about it all right that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible y'all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my elite crew patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy 